actually use this image of Stephen Curry. Uh, nope, not that one, sorry. Use this one here. Uh, the reason I chose this is actually trying to find a picture of LeBron earlier, but this one has a little bit more uh, contrast in the details. So finding some accents or, or darker areas that you can actually pick to um, manipulate in Illustrator uh, is important. So I'll, I'll show you what I mean in one sec. So I'm going to actually bring that into Adobe Illustrator. So let's just minimize that. I'm just going to minimize that for a sec. So I'm going to let's just open up a new Illustrator file and we'll make it a landscape 11 by eight and a half letter size sheet. And that size doesn't really matter. That can be changed at any point um, because it will be all vector. So we're going to take our file. I was looking through a few earlier. I'll do this one later in the week. Uh, but I'm going to try this one. And it's a good resolution image, which is nice. Uh, let's scale that down a little bit just to fit inside our sheet. And if you zoom in, you've got some really nice clear detail there. Okay, so like we always do, we lock that on a layer. I'm just going to go to my layers palette right here, and we're going to double click that layers palette. We're going to lock and dim that. Okay. Now, if you want to take this one step further, let me just option click on the background here. You could always bring this photo. Oh, not that one. There we go. Bring that picture of Steve Curry in. And if you want to kind of enhance the, the contrast in your highlights and your darker tones, you could go into any photo filter. I'll just try the uh, one of my favorites is Curves uh, for more advanced settings. So if you do that, it kind of lets you... create a little bit more contrast. So I'm actually going to use that. So that's great. So we'll save that. And we'll see if that actually saved in our Illustrator file. And yep, we're going to. So you could do that before that, or you can go afterwards. Or if you find you've got enough detail, you don't even have to do that. So just to repeat, I locked and dim that layer. Darian Bealby, please report to the office for an important message, please. Darian Bealby, please report to the office for an important message. Curry scan or curry image that we grabbed off the internet. So this could be any image. This could be a picture you take of a friend. I'm going to create a new layer. We'll call this draw uh, dark detail. Okay. So what we're going to do for that. And you can minimize that. We'll just bring that layers palette up again. Sorry about that. We're going to hide that. So now we're just drawing on the top layer. What I always like to do is start with, with the eyes. Because I find that the eyes... And I'm going to go down to stroke palette here. I'm actually going to make the stroke 0.15. Okay, so that I can't really see the stroke. I'm also going to make a fill nut. Yeah. So we got that and that. Oops. Let me just continue that. And I kind of make up stuff as I go. So when I get to areas where there's no dark or, or black uh, detail to take from, I just kind of make it up. So in this area, I'm just kind of making up that shape. Uh, here you've got the, the little crow's nest, I don't know if they call it that. I mean, Steven's still a pretty young kid, so he's not going to have those for a few years. But anyways, we're going to just highlight some of those. And again, if you're not sure where those dark tones, because here you've got a range of mid-tones and stuff like that, but you can see what I'm doing. I'm just kind of making it up. And here, instead of closing that, what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to, and I know this, this might be a little bit slow for you guys, or if you're just starting out, 
It might take a bit more time, or maybe it'll be faster, or maybe you're using a different tool, and I'll show you in a sec. So I'm actually adding a lot of points here. And this will range, this will vary. Okay. So as I go and do the uh, eyebrows here, I'll try a different tool. I'm going to switch over to my pencil tool. So if you're still getting to know the pen tool, you can always just go and drag and go over top. And when you get to eyebrows like this where you don't have a lot of eyebrows, you don't want to put big, dark, blotchy areas. And you may have to go back and fix that up. Okay, so you got something like this. Now the eyeball is a really important part, and I'll show you why. Because this is the technique I've used for a while now. It works really well. And I'm just going to go in and select a contour of the inner pupil. And here, this is important. I don't know if you guys see the eyelashes. And if you want to zoom in real close, this helps. I'm just going to undo those. And again, you don't have to follow the original. You just have to follow the kind of the idea of what it is. So if you don't have spots to make up, you can just kind of make it up as you go. You'll see that once we zoom out. Okay. Now notice I'm not adding any any color. Uh, everything is just shapes for now. And inside the ear, I'm just drawing the darker shade. So I'm not actually drawing the shape of the ear. So this might be a pretty difficult concept for you guys to understand, uh, but you will get it in time when you start to see the final results. And right here, I'm just going to outline this and this. Now this might have a really useful application if you're turning this into a, a vinyl deco or a sticker or you just want to kind of vectorize artwork to, to have a little bit more control. Right, here we go. I'm just going to define the, the nose area. Again, you can go and, and edit this later on. And you can use the pencil tool. You don't have to use the pen tool like I'm using here. Well, we're just going around. Now here I'm going to kind of select this blotchy area under the nose and you'll see uh, why that's important in a bit. I'm going to also define the area of his nose and maybe this little shape here. Okay. Uh, the lips are always kind of a tough one, but I'll show you a little trick here. You can see just that little black, I'm actually just following the black shape where the shadows are, sort of, I'm going to follow that, and again, if you want to zoom in, uh, I recommend zooming in, you're going to get, that's kind of a sloppy job there, but um, you're going to get some really nice results. Uh, for the hair, when you get to a spot like this, there's a couple ways to do this. Under the chin to define that area, I could kind of create this, and then let's go in here. I'm going to make this up here too. Kind of create this shape that contours the chin. And then we can add some texture to that with even our, our brush tool later on. Okay, now the hair up here, depending on the hair you get, uh, I'm just going to follow the contour again. The more shapes you add, the better the look you're going to have. And just going to go around. And this one I'm just going to do kind of quick. And we'll talk about the hair maybe in another lesson. And we, again, take your time with this. This is not a race. If you really want to get the skill down, I always have my hand on the un, uh, undo or command Z, or control Z if you're Z, if you're on a PC. And let's do that other eyeball, and we're almost done the start of this. Again, it's okay to undo, go back. 
guys will probably be quicker at this than me in no time. Those little pupil marks, I'm going to create just with the ellipse tool. I'm going to create those little highlights um, just with a circle shape. So I'm not actually defining the pupil, I'm just actually defining the highlight. You can cheat a little bit on there too. Okay, so next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to hide this layer. And I'm going to go into the top layer. I'm going to select everything. And I'm going to just outline that. Okay, and if I go into my preview mode, I can actually bring those two shapes to the front. I can select that shape and that shape, go to the Pathfinder or the, uh, what's that new tool called? The Shape Builder tool, which is very cool. I like that. Shift select, option delete, and that's going to get you that. So it's pretty cool. So in about five or ten minutes, he kind of looks like a wrinkly old man right now, but you'll see it does come along quite nicely. Bring up the original, and you can create some really cool illustrator um, effects and take your t-shirt designs or any graphic design you have to the next level. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. Have a good one. Uh, part two will be talking about color and detail in the background shape.